Matt, 90 minutes out on the field, um, um, team performed. Proper cup tight, thought we were starting a bit slow. Come on strong. The woodwork a couple of times. Uh, I know we had a standing off, but how their man wasn't sent off. Last man, and crazy, crazy decision. Absolutely crazy decision. Uh, delighted with that performance, yeah. Delighted. Cup tight, atmosphere, as you'd expect. So I would feel like it. Let's just get the controversial instance out of the way then. First of all, the handball. I mean, I said in commentary that denying a goal scoring opportunity doesn't have to be a foul, does it? It no. can't be a handball like that. Let's stop Jack into it. No, it was absolutely. It was, I thought it was a crazy decision. Um, yeah. But we've had some crazy decisions, haven't we, with the Ryan Hall situation. So what can we do? I don't know. We'll do the same as we normally do. We'll write off. They'll come back and say, yeah, it should have been. And, We'll be back where we are, but there's nothing I can do about it now. And then the, the actual sending off the one for Paul Benson. Your thoughts on that? You obviously had a good view. I, I, I had a good view. Um, I didn't think it was sending off. Now people say we well, are bound to say that, but I didn't. You know, I'm always fair. Or I think I am. Do you think it was sending off? Not at all. I mean, could it be said that Paul went sort of lunged in and wasn't in control of the challenge? Is that uh, that may well be the case? Yes. And if that turns out that that's what the referee says, I, I'll live with it. You know, but I'm just saying you asked my opinion. I don't think it was sending off. A disappointment for Paul Levin has come back from injury. Absolutely, and he's an important player for us. Um, but it is what it is, so we'll go and we'll, we'll move on and can't worry about it. You named an unchanged 11 after the Barnet victory. I'm pleased that you were able to rely on those same 11 players. Yeah, the, the, the team played very, very well it, in what was a, a cup tie atmosphere. This was the same, a local derby cup tie atmosphere. So we was really, really pleased with that. Um, performance and was really pleased with it today and I didn't think there was any reason to change it. Neither keeper had much of a uh, save to make in the first half until late on when Luton had two chances through Josh McCoy and then Danny Green. <coughs> yeah absolutely, I thought one had gone in but it hadn't. Uh, but we came in at half time and we said before the game that you know they'd have a great victory here against Juventus, a great victory so they're going to be up. We've got to be really really competitive uh, and we thought we'd perhaps try and sit a touch deep in the first half early on certainly the first 15 minutes so no space behind us and I was you know I had a lot of the ball but I was quite pleased with that but we grew into the game grew into the game and finished the second half well uh, finished the first half well uh, second half I felt we could be a bit more adventurous and the longer the game went I, you know, I thought if anyone was going to score it, it, it was us. Green is a fantastic free kick, fantastic free kick. Then we've hit the bar again, we've had, you know, should it have been a, a, a sending off and that all the should have been and that don't really matter now. And what about the chance for Paul Benson? I mean, there was some controversy in that as well as to whether it was still the passage of play that made him offside, but the defender heads it back and yeah, he's he was Once the defender headed it, he wasn't offside. It's a crazy lot, I'm going to say that. And I'm not saying... I'm glad we didn't score, but I'm glad we didn't score in those circumstances. I am. I think it's a crazy law uh, for me, but it's the law of the law. But the chance was there on perhaps Paul's back and think yeah. he should have done better with Absolutely, it. should have done. A absolutely. I think that the, what I call the, the opportunities, uh, I think there's one down there that, that we, we got in a mess with, but Tyler done all right with it. But the, the, the three efforts here, the, the two of the part, the, the post and, the, uh, and Barr and, and Benno's uh, effort, I think. You know, with the clearest opportunities at the game. And a clean shoot away from home is always something to be pleased with. I'm really pleased at the moment defensively. We've worked really hard, as we always do anyway, but we're looking strong defensively. So really and an opportunity back at Kenilworth Road on Tuesday night. Uh, the game's coming... Thick, thick and fast, fast, yeah. Lovely, isn't it, Alice? The game's, you know, much better than training. So hopefully we can be back on form and, and, and try and get three points. And you've got Craig and Cal Smith was back on the bench today, basically mm. available for selection. Yeah, right. yeah, we don't want to push him too hard. Um, you know, choices him and Jack, but you know, Jack's done really well. Come on, a little razor sharp from his Jack as well. So, um, yeah, we, we, you know, we, we, if, if we're without Paul, we'll miss him, but we, we, we'll be okay. And you changed formations around a little bit during the course of the game, started yeah. with the 4 4 2, then changed it to put yeah. Cameron in the number 10 role, and then yeah. to replace him to put it back to 4 yeah, 4 2. It, 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 was, it was in our mind to, to just to give them a little bit of a, of a, a headache on, on where Cam was going to be. Um, you know, just to try and get in there and come from the wide one and come off the front man. Uh, I was happy with that, yeah, happy with it. Um, uh, but all in all, a good afternoon on the pitch, just a shame they couldn't take the three points. Yeah, disappointed not to take the three points, but pleased with the, with the performance. And looking forward to be back at Kenilworth on Tuesday night now. Looking forward to it, yeah.